What's up, guys? This is Steve. I want to show you one of the best on cloud uh, gaming apps I know. It's called, well, it's not actually on cloud. I'll take that back. It's pretty much an all in one emulator, Happy Chick. And what it does is it has all the emulators batched in one app, and you can search the games from that app also. It's, a, it's, it's great. It doesn't have every game. But it's, 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 it's great to have, you know, it's a must have. So let me show you guys how to do it. For this, we're going to definitely need, uh, we're on a NVIDIA Shield, so you're going to need your side load launcher. If you have a NVIDIA Shield, you're going to need um, your Google Chrome, Google, uh, yeah, Google Chrome browser. Um, if you're on another Android device, all you're going to need is your browser. And uh, let's get to it, man. Let's get started. So... I'm on the NVIDIA shit. I'm going to go down to Silo Launcher. And we're, the, we're going to quick click on the Chrome browser. And we're going to search Happy Chick. Happy Chick APK. Cancel that. And uh, here's the main site right here www.happychick.hk let's click on that okay once we got that I'm gonna push Android download right here I'm gonna do ES downloader just once I'm going to open the file, install it, click next, install. Remember, guys, um, the law states that you cannot download any game you do not own. But you can download every game you own. If you own a game, you can download it. It's, you're able to download the emulator, download the ROM if you own it. It just so happens I own every game that ever existed. It's somewhere here in Chicago. So it's loading up right there. There it go right here. You can search the games. And this is one reason also I like the game sir G4S. G G G G three S and G4S. Because the the uh, the uh, game the game buttons map themselves. They pretty much map their own, on their own. Uh, you can go switch some things around, but if you use another gamepad, you got to map all that. Uh, G4S is just a, a complete controller. G4 GameSir makes the best controllers right now, period. There's no question about it. Um, let's go ahead and try this out. We got games. What's fight about? Network battle. I haven't tried this yet. Play is where all your games will be that you already own. That you already have here. Uh, manage. You need to get kind of accustomed to manage. Go to manage. And you can go to settings. And this is where you can change uh, where you want to save your games. I recommend saving it in an external device. If you don't have a lot of room on your internal memory. You just click here and put it in your internal. You'll do both of them like that. But, you know, I have a lot of memory right now, so I don't need to mess with that. Um, handle, handle, handle button scene, scheme. You can click on that also. And this is how you can kind of adjust your uh, game pads. So, 
Let's check it out, man. Let's download something. Go to games. I'm going to download, um, think of an arcade game. Um, let's check out, uh, Altered the Beast. And then after you do that, you'll push the search button. Well, I think you just press enter. No, you have to push search. You definitely need a keyboard or some type of mouse to do this. Look at that, MAME. MAME is uh, arcade. So I'm going to click download here to the right. Okay. We're going to click download. Okay, now I'm going to push start. Click on start to the right. After I click start, you want to take whatever you're using for a gamepad. I'm using my G4, remember that? And just press any button. And boom, there you go. Insert coin. I believe that's select. Yep. Remember, arcade games take coins. Gonna start. Look at that. Inside the game, also, you can also you see that square button in the middle. You take my uh, keyboard and press on that. You do sound on and off, restart, key adjustment, screenshot it, picture adjustment. Switch vertical, handle settings, advanced settings, handle custom, screenshots, hide shortcut. So say we wanted a picture adjustment. Let's click on that and see what they're talking about. You can go to original proportion, full screen, small window. It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. I usually leave it on original. I can always quit. Yes. Exit game. So let's check something else out. Let me show you guys actually how to uh, set up your gamepad if you had to. We're going to go to manage here on the right. Click on it. Settings. Now we're going to go to handle button scheme. Click on that. We're going to do check handle button screen. Well, check handle button. Click on that. Now, we're going to, well, they already got it set for me. I don't think I can do it. This is what I'm going to do. Let me, uh, let me pair my Nintendo 64 gamepad to this. So, I'm going to press home. I'm going to settings, press enter. And then I'm going to go to um, Well, I probably already got a pair. Let me check that. That's why I like doing everything live. Yep, I already got a pair. I like doing everything live. I really don't edit because I want you guys to see the mistakes I may ha make, you know, because a normal person mistakes. I don't want everything to be perfect all the time. But uh, we're going to go back to the app, Happy Chick. And I've been using this for years, like at least almost two years, I believe. Nah. About a year and a half I've been using this. So we're going to go back to manage. Well, it's already on manage. We're going to click settings. 
we're gonna go to handle button scan click on that and I want to set my handle button scan for N64 and click on it and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my uh, my keyboard and click L1 and then on the 8-bit to N64 gamepad I'm gonna click that button Z click that button start click that button R1 click the button L2 well that's L2 but that's C1 actually click it up and guys this is the best way to play your N64 ROMs is actually get that 8-bit to N64 get controller this is a must-have if you like Nintendo 64 ROMs okay that's it I'm gonna push back it's on and popping it's on and popping guys so now we're gonna go download us a game go to games we're gonna search something and you can also search by category so we're searching by that you can search by category click on it and look at that and right here is the total number of games per section so we got N64 let's click on it and um, we already have Super Mario downloaded let's click start we'll go to single Everything's working. All the um, buttons are adjusted on it. We're going to test it out to see. working it's great for the kids you know everything working Okay, guys, definitely check this out. Um, it's the Happy Chick emulator, and it's man, it's got it's got a big punch on it. You got a big punch on it. I use everything, honestly. I use everything, and um, this is one of the pieces I do use. I've been using it for about a year and a half, and um, I just wanted to show y'all something so y'all can play with it while I get my other emulator videos ready for you guys. Because um, the other emulator videos I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to show you guys how to download the BIOS and all that other stuff. So I just want to get you guys something, keep you guys calm while I get my other material out for you guys. This is Steve. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, share the video and um, like the video, please. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring it to you everywhere around. Anything that has to do with everything about streaming devices this is what type of channel this is everything pure knowledge pure information no drama 
I'm going to talk to you guys later. Have a great night.